Hey guys, this is Keith, and welcome to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. So, I sort of got this idea that I would make Sundays into what I'm gonna call long play Sundays, or Sunday long plays, or whatever. So we're just gonna sit back and make some, some big episodes of some good games that, you, you know, you, you can just chill with on a Sunday. Because, you know, what, what else are you going to do on a Sunday, right? So let's, uh, let's start the adventure. <laughs> I like Plats vs. Zombies. Oh, also, I'm sorry about the massive cursor. So, uh, Plats vs. Zombies, if you don't know, is a game where, where you put Plats vs. Zombies. I'm not sure I can explain this in any other way. So they're zombies. And, and you, you put down some plants, right? Nicely done. <laughs> Keep on collecting sun. <clears throat> You'll need it to grow more plants. So, I'm, yeah, I guess I should just tell you what's going on in case you can't figure it out or in case you haven't played Plants vs. Zombies yet. So, you put down your plants and so, oh, I really can't. So, the first level is just gonna slowly introduce us to the game. There's only one lane, you have only one plant to put down, there's only one zombie at a time. And um, I think everybody should be able to manage this level without too much problem. Um, and it's just a nice way to sort of introduce you to the game. Final way! Oh my god, two zombies at a time. How will we ever, ever survive this? Oh my god, that dude nearly came to the second slot of the, the lawn. <laughs> you got a new plant. Sunflower. Gives you additional sun. So the sunflower, in addition to looking really, really cute, gives you sun. So that's pretty much it. You put that down, then it will it will pop down sun for you. So my, my idea with um, this Let's Play or, or the, the Sunday Long Plays? Or the Long Play Sundays? Which one do you prefer? It's basically, you know, there are some games that I want to play that might be a little bit too steep for like 15 minute videos. And then, you know, they might be more fit... They might fit better for just like... A ma oh, I shouldn't have done that. A massive Long Play um, on Sundays. If people want to watch it, then they can do that. You know, while mending their hangovers. This is actually becoming a problem. I will be fine, right? Sure. Needs 10 hits to die? I'm sure we'll be okay. And there we go. Basic defense setup. I like this game because it's so... There's so many ways you can go about a level. I mean, you can even play it again after you completed the first time and then you can use a completely different strategy which is what I like in the game because uh, you know after you complete Half-Life it's like are you gonna do it again and just do the same all over again maybe use a shotgun instead of a I don't know you know but Plants vs Zombies allows you to use a lot of different tactics and uh, it's kind of fun it's also kind of cute you know the little bouncy sunflowers and the Cute pea shooters and stuff. So it's a nice game. It's very, it's a very enjoyable game to be doing. Poof! A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Maybe like four now. Poof! 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 Oh, five. Okay, sure. I wonder if we can manage. I swear things are going to get a lot more interesting later on. But, you know, the, the first levels, I mean, what do you expect? I like that jazz music there. It's soothing and rewarding. Cherry Bomb blows up all zombies in an area. So what I'm going to try and do is, like every level or so, you're going to get a new plant. And I'm going to do my best to show off the plants as I get them. There's some plants that are really good, and there's some that are really not good. Um, 
So I'm going to try and avoid going into that same, you know, rut. Let me just turn off my phone there. And then just using the same plant, because then that could be sort of boring. I guess we'll put down our first pea shooter then. Oof. We'll put it there. I'm not sure if I want another row of uh, sunflowers. I don't think it's needed. But we might as well. You can never have too much sun. Unless you're like a bat, I guess. Because I don't think bats like sun that much, really. Sunflower. So how is your Sunday going, guys? That sounded really bad. Are you having a hangover? Or just tired? Got to start work and school tomorrow again? Uh, right? I know. Right. Let's use the cherry bomb. If they actually survive long enough. I don't think they will. Let's use the cherry bomb on the next wave. Like this uh, conehead zombie. Coneheads take uh, longer time to kill because they are protected by a plastic cone. Right. Exactly. So he takes, I think, 15 or 20 hits to kill. Or 25. It's 10 hits as soon as he loses that cone. So maybe just <laughs> give that one some help here. There we go. Do we just get a fire away? At the zombies. Trying to eat our brains. I'm just going to get a bunch of sun to blow up the, the zombies here. The cherry bomb, if I put it there, it's going to blow up the uh, surrounding squares. It's kind of neat. And um, quite powerful. Just going to wait for them to get close and then... Boom! Problem solved. But it has a long recharge time and it's fairly expensive. You got a new plant. A walnut. Blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. I'm so gonna stop smoking soon. Ready, set, plant! So the beginnings of the levels are pretty much all the same. You put down your sunflowers, collect some sun, put down some more sunflowers, collect some sun. Put down some more sunflowers, and then we will probably need a pea shooter at some point. If we can just get enough. There we go. I'm going to put that there. I think five plants or sunflowers is going to be fine for this. I love the music in this game. It's absolutely great. Now, please give me some more sun. Sun. So I can, uh, I can get some more sun. Guess we better put that down first. There we go, now just uh, two more pea shooters so we have a basic um, protection there. Oh shit. Cone hit zombie. So obviously we got the, uh, the walnut this time and I'm going to just put it like there. The walnut is just as you might think, it's a wall, not, I don't know, it uh, it uh, protects our zombies, cause, or blah blah blah, our plants, because it takes quite a while to chew through it. You can hear this as a Sunday, right? I mean, like, eh. So, um, while this walnut might be in big trouble, he is, uh, he's, you know, he's sacrificing himself. Sorry, I forgot the word. For the greater good. I'm gonna wait for that. Hold on. 
Oh, thank God. He's not lagging it, but he's still alive. So that's that's good, at least. The Walland is pretty good if you're like, you know, shit, fuck, there's a lot of zombies and I can't deal with them kind of mood. Um, and they're pretty cheap, too. They last quite a lot. Uh, quite a lot of time. A long time. A lot, a lot. And, um... So they're pretty good to have around. But obviously, they won't kill any zombies. They just delay them, so... You gotta have your, your forces behind you still. Let's put down some more. Not that it matters, though, because... We're gonna kill these off, and then there's gonna be the, um... The, the final wave. There's always a, a big wave in the end, so... Blop, blop, blop. I think I might as well use my last sun on the um, on blowing up some zombies with my cherry bomb. Do, 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 do. Might as well just put one like I don't know. Stop that right there. There's a lot of zombies here. Now you <clears throat> you can actually put down the. Um, the cherry bomb and have it eaten, being eaten, uh, before it actually blows up, I believe, and that's, so that's pretty bad, but, but just two zombies there, it's not a big deal. We got a shovel, and a neighbor, greetings neighbor, the name's Crazy Dave, but you can just call me Crazy Dave, listen, I've got a surprise for you, but first you need to clear your lawn, use your shovel and dig up those plants, let the digging commence. I know, that's how I imagine that Crazy Dave sounds. Okay, goody, now for the surprise. We're going bowling. Here, take this walnut. Why did I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now go bowl me a winner. You are crazy, Crazy Dave. So this is walnut bowling. Every fifth level is going to be, like, special. And, uh, and this is just bowling. Just kind of fun. Oh, I missed that one at the top. What a shame. Oof. Uh, the red ones, they blow up. Uh, yeah, why, why not? Why not? Show that off. Boom! It's like a cherry bomb, but obviously it's not a cherry bomb. Hmm. Now, you want to obviously have them bounce. But they're bouncing the wrong way. Boom. That one's probably going to go up now. Nope, went down. But it's alright. Now, you can use the, the big ones to just, you know, clear out three rows if you're smart about it. Oh, oh man. Would have loved to hit a few more there. I think I can hit that. There we go. Just blow these up. Kaboom! I did actually, um, <laughs> I did actually record this whole first, um, first level, or not, you know, wall one, I guess. But <clears throat> I have to record Blast vs. Zombies with Camtasia, and Camtasia sucks balls. So I lost all that footage. I'm a bit, I'm a little bit upset about that, <laughs> if you can't tell. So, um, so yeah. No, that's the wrong way, you stupid walnut. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. If I can just clear these out, then we should be able to just go like that, and then blow that one up, and knock you out, and then follow up with that. Boom! Piece of cake, easy as pie. You got a new plant, potato mine. Explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. And we got new zombies, pole vault zombies. So one tactic that's really good to use is to actually not spend money on like pea shooters until you like have a lot of sun 
so you, you you know sacrifice your initial defenses for like temporary defenses uh, using the um, potato mines or something similar to that. So there's a zombie down there. I'm gonna put the potato mine down there, which means I have just he's just gonna walk all the way over there and get killed, and then the next will, um, zombies will come. Usually the first um, the first zombie will just come along, so you have time to do this. <clears throat> now the potato man is armed and ready. I'm just gonna put some some more um, more sunflower. And there's another zombie coming up there. We can do the same with him. Put a potato mine there. <clears throat> and now we have spent only 50 um, 50 sun on killing these. But obviously, um, the potato mine disappears after it explodes. I guess we we can we can put this out now. But that means we have a lot of sun generating already. Look at that. I think I might as well just put some... We can do that. That cone head. It's going to be taken care of. Brains? Brains. I don't know if we're even going to plant anything until the potato mine has been spent. I guess we could put a potato mine there just for the fun of it. Now, this is a problem. We have a pole vaulting zombie. He's going to jump over the first thing he meets, but then he's going to be really slow. Budo. And then <clears throat> it's not going to be a problem. So you just need something that it can jump over. It could even be a sunflower. It'll jump over the mines. It'll jump over the uh, walnuts. See, it's going to jump over that mine there. That's fine. Because it's going to die. I suppose we could put down some more pea shooters. Just for good measure here. And some 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 walnuts. Well that was useless. Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. We have so much sun right now. So I don't think sun is going to be much of an issue on this level, which is actually almost done anyway, so. But that's fine. Absolutely fine. Let's put a um, bum, bum, bum. walnut down there. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Spudo, I'm just going to blow these up. Bam. <laughs> Problem solved, right? 875 sun and a lot of it, you know, just wasted. Snow pea shoots frozen peas that damage and slow the enemy. So the snow pea is just like a pea shooter, but it freezes enemies and slow them down. It is not, uh, it's, it's a quite more expensive than the uh, normal pea shooters though. But I mean, it's kind of nice, but... I think I'd rather, you know, in the end, have just an, an extra pea shooter rather than the, the, the snow, the slow one, just for the extra firepower. I mean, you know. So we're going to do the same. Build our defenses or our, our, our economy. This is not ITS, but still. So we're collecting quite a lot of sun, but we obviously have to wait for it to recharge. And at some point, um, we have extra sun. Like we we could probably spend. Oh, see now that that's a problem <clears throat> because that one's gonna blow. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try and, and plant it just as it 
stops. Like, as this one blows, I'm going to plant the next one. Hopefully, it'll have time enough to arm itself. Whoop. Probably won't. Let's just do... Ah, fuck. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I'm being a little bit too technical here. Oh, that's too late. Oh, God, no. What have I done? What have I done? Ah. What have I done? It's going to kill it. Oh, my God, I'm such an idiot. What did I do this for? Okay, well... No, I'm done. Well, harm done, yes, but <clears throat> we have the... Oh, my goodness. I was trying to show off here, and clearly that was not a good idea. So I'm sorry about that. I have played this before, you know. I'm just not smart, I guess. Put you down there. Not gonna risk anything here. I could've used my cherry bomb. Why didn't I use my cherry bomb? I'm so stupid sometimes, I swear. At the very least, you could eat the walnut so I can plant some stuff there. But no. I guess we can, um, we can put down the, 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 the frozen peas or snow peas. <laughs> I can't believe I let it get that far. So, I mean, that's an honest mistake. Don't fault me for this, you know? Just, uh,. I mean, you can make fun of it, I deserve it, but... Yeah. <clears throat> so I think... I'd like it to be symmetrical. We need something up there. We block that one off. We need some more sun so we can get some more snow peas. Oof. Do-do-do-do-do-do. No point in wasting that, really, because that would just have it get eaten before it actually activates itself. Do, do. Should probably put something there. Oh my god, so much stuff to kill, and uh, where do we put this? Ah, uh, fuck it, never mind. We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Let's put some more pea shooters down, just for the fun of it. I'm going to use the potato mine to slow this one step or two to have it jump over. I know it's not active, but um, anything works. And that was the cheapest, you know, so. See, everything is fine. We need something up there. I'm going to use a sunflower. Yeah, an assault sunflower. Never heard of that before, but pretty damn good. For like... As long as, as you don't attack them, I mean. Um, let's put one there again as well. Go on, Sunflower! See, that Sunflower totally just killed that zombie. Oh my god, so powerful, right? So even though this is active, it's going to jump over it, unfortunately. But that's alright. I think we're pretty, pretty well set here. It's not like any zombies are going to give us trouble now, right? Shpudo! And and the Assault Sunflower takes another one. Unbelievable. That's like the main captain. The main captain just asked me to put a um, cherry bomb out there. Oh my god, so much sun. Yo, sun. I really don't see myself losing. Even though I, <clears throat> I did sort of let a zombie through there, which is going to haunt me for the rest of my life, but that's why we have the lawnmowers, right? The final defense. Do, 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 do. I guess we could just... Oh, no! No! General Sunflower! No! He will be mourned and missed. Now I have to write a letter to all his little seeds. I'm sorry about that. We have nothing to spend this sun on, really. Well, we could 
put one of those tall nuts there. Walnuts. Tall nuts is a different thing. I'm gonna just blow these zombies up. Boom! And then um, get another attack sunflower out there. Oh my god, did you see how ferocious that was? Jesus Christ. Don't mess with sunflowers, man. They're fucking crazy. I'm gonna kill you and your, your bloody dog. You got a chomber. Devours a zombie hole, but is vulnerable while chewing. Story of my life, right? Okay, so we have too many plants uh, versus the amount of spots we have up there. So we're going to have to choose. Actually, that's not going to be difficult. I'm <laughs> just going to do that. And then not take the snow peak because I don't really want to uh, to use it. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. The music is pretty catchy, you know? Zombies are coming. Pew. As long as you make sure to put out your, your sunflowers early on and obviously collect it, then your economy is going to be pretty good. Now I'm hoping that the next zombie is not going to come on the second row again. Because I don't want to repeat that mistake. See, that's fine. See, the main problem was it didn't have time to activate down here. But that should be fine. I sure hope so. Let's put down some peas. Let's pee a bit. Do, 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 do. Everything is fine. We could even do that again, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Come on. I hope that's enough. <laughs> I'm taking some, some stupid chances here, aren't I? That's just how I roll. Stupid. There we go. That's nice. That's gonna blow up. But I love that it turns into mashed potatoes and fries. I think that's cute. So the chambers, the chambers are fairly curious indeed. You put one out there, and it will eat the first zombie it meets. It meets. Oh. Now the chambers. It's a pretty good idea to place the chamber behind a um, behind a walnut because the chamber can actually reach past the walnut and devour the zombie. But the problem is obviously that the chompers cost a lot of money, the sun, and the walnuts, they don't really recharge that fast. Now as you can see, we have a zombie down here who is, you know, gonna start eating my chomper, which is bad. So we're just gonna blow that up, see if we can get some more nuts out. You're nuts! Might as well put down some pea shooters as well here. This one is done eating, done devouring the zombie. It's nice. Which means we could just put up some more chambers there. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. We might be in trouble. Actually, no, nope, that one's finishing. That one's still chewing, but uh, we'll be alright, I guess. We could even put up another, another chamber behind that one. Let's take that care of that one. And um, that pea shooter is going to take care of the chomper or the zombie before anything happens. So that's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. You got a new plant. The repeater. A repeater. Fires two peas at, the, at a time. <laughs> Sorry. I have a call today. So you'll notice also in the last level we got the bucket head, head zombies. Um, which takes even more damage than the conehead zombies. So that's got to be fun. Okay, we need the um, sunflower, obviously. A pea shooter. No, actually, maybe we'll just go for the repeater. I think we will. 
and then that. Let's try that. Live a little, right? You know? Do, do, do. The pea shooter is basically it costs twice as much as normal. Uh, or the repeater costs twice as much as a, as a pea shooter, but it fires two peas at once. So if you can deal with that, you know, and just save up a little bit faster, then you're going to be just fine. And put that down there. You could probably even like make a pretty good defense out of like two rows of chambers, maybe. But then if another zombie comes, you're going to be in trouble. So did I just forget my sunflower? Darn it. That's really the key to a successful game. Do not forget your fucking sunflowers, man. Brains? What's with the brain spam, man? I'm just waiting to see where the next zombie comes. Then I'm going to put a repeater on, on that row, I think. I don't need to put it down right now because there's no zombies and everything's going to be fine. So there's one up there, so that'll be a good spot. He only shot one to begin with. What the hell? <clears throat> Spudo, let's put one down there then. Now we got all our <clears throat> our sunflower out. Out. And what? What am I, Canadian? And we're just gonna fill this up with the repeaters here. Might as well put a cherry bomb up, or not a cherry bomb, a potato mine somewhere. Hopefully, it'll arm itself before something comes along. Actually, I do need to. Make sure I do a lot of enough damage to this one down here. I guess I have chambers and I have cherry bombs and stuff like that. I think we're, we're going to be fine. Just fine. Everything's going to be alright. Put another potato mine out there. Should we start with... Uh, oh, no. Okay, you know what? You're just going to get eaten. Spudo! I love that. That word. Spudo. I don't know why. Just love it. Might as well, you know, there's no point in eating a zombie, you know, if, if it's going to die in a moment anyways, you know. Do 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 oh. It's fine, it's fine, that one will jump over there. We might have a little bit of problem here. Nope, it's gonna be fine. Everything's cool. He's just gonna die. I would like to be able to put my walnuts all the way down just for some extra protection. But then again, I don't mind putting some stuff there. Right. Put you there just for the fun of it. Some bucketed zombies. That's gonna just die from the um, from the chamber, thankfully. Now, come on, don't waste my uh, potato mine down there. See, he's gonna jump over, and if you don't swallow soon, you're gonna be in trouble, mate. Oh, yep, yeah, it's dead. Oh well. So the chambers work quite well with everything else here. I'm just going to make two rows of them. Except for down here, 
they're quite busy eating, so I'm just gonna pop a cherry to bomb down there. Just for good measure. Did you just eat my chamber? I think you did. Blasted zombies. Now I think I could just lean back and do nothing, really, because the Chambers will take care of him, and then maybe the Chambers die. It's not going to be a huge deal, you know? Because we have the repeaters anyways. And if the Chambers die while they are eating a zombie, that zombie's dead too, so see? No problem. Hello, we are about to launch an all-out attack on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. So level 10 in each world um, is a special level. You don't get sun, you just get plants. And then <coughs> it's up to you to, uh, to plant them as you see fit. I see fit to plant one there. A snow pea there. And a repeater there. And the chair bomb, we can just wait for that, I guess. Let's put a repeat up there, for good measure. A walnut. <clears throat> Let's put that there. And you can sort of see the beginnings of my OCD here. Is that I like it to be symmetrical, you know? I find that very important. Not important. It's not like I'm or like really OCD about it, <clears throat> but I do like it to be, you know, symmetrical if possible. Oh, I actually don't have a shit. Fuck. Mm, there we go. That worked out nicely. I don't have a shit. Fuck. Just gonna keep putting down my plants. We've got three cherry bombs now. It's not kind of nice, but we do have some big waves coming along. Just want you to jump over and get eaten. Ha! In your face. Now see, that might be a problem. Nope, it's cool, it's cool. I'll put you there. Might as well just delay you a bit. So at this point, we have quite a lot of plants now. So that's fine. Quite a lot indeed. Just put you out there. Probably fine. Well, I guess we could. Oh, there we go. The last repeater. Oh, just a snow pea up there. Thank you. But everything is fine. <clears throat> and it's symmetrical. Well, not really symmetrical, I guess. No zombie is ever going to get through this. Like, really. But just to make it a little bit worse than them. Boom! I'm just gonna plant whatever fits. You know? Because with these two cherry bombs, I can clear all five rows easily. I really like a charm bot there, just for the fun of it. Ah, hell. I don't think anything could actually break through this, so I don't think I really have to worry about, well, anything, really. <clears throat> Guess we can just put down nuts. Have them chomp away at this. I'm not going to put anything there, because I want to be able to put my, um, put my, uh, what's it now? My cherry bombs there.
But as you can tell, this is not <laughs> a very difficult fight. As it should be. I mean, it's the first level, you know, for the first world. Oh. I can't do anything. I mean, I can just wait now. That's going to be even. This works out as a pretty good tactic, actually. Might as well just blow up some of them. Boom! That's going to be wasted. Maybe not. Yeah, it will be. That's cool. It's cool. I'm just waiting for that final um, wave of zombies to come along. Oh, you like your taters? Totally wasting every plan I have, but I mean, what you gonna do, right? A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Huge wave of zombies is about to die. Cravio de finale. Oh, Explorator achieved. Nice. Explodonator. Oh, fuck, that cleared my cherry. What the hell? So, <clears throat> that's the end of the, um, the first world. New plants for the zombies. We got a new plant. The Puff Shroom. Shoot short range spores at the enemy. But, um. Wabby Wobble. Wabby Wobble. We're not gonna do that in this episode. We're gonna do that next episode. So thanks for watching, and, um. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.